Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Divine Elemental. I'm going to do a collective tarot reading for you guys today. Tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. I'm going to do strictly oracle cards. So, let's see what God, Michael, and Spirit has for the collective. What's going on in this connection? We have clarity, trapped, that's a contradiction, open heart. So, I feel like someone is gaining clarity and releasing themselves from being trapped. Um, I almost feel with this bluff here that someone was playing themselves, thinking that they can move on from you, and it was because their their heart chakra was blocked, but they're gaining clarity. It could be the fact that someone can't move on from looking at your photos and having their heart flutter is what I'm hearing. We have possibilities here. They see possibilities with you in the, the distant future here. Um... It could be near future for some of you, but Ooh, what do we have? Wow. Twin flames, influences, and then broken was over here. I feel like um, this twin flame journey has broken them, honestly. I feel like you influenced them a lot um, and kind of awoken this person up to their dishonesty, like the way that they were, I keep hearing, playing themselves. It could have been how they feel about you, how they went along with life. Yeah, they could have been in a very lusting energy a lot. And now um, they're feeling like they were blocking their blessings is what I'm hearing. Or they may have lost their lesson. Yeah, look at that emotional storm and longing. They're longing for you. I just heard crying over you. Uh, there. Oh, hold on, guys. It's super windy. I don't want to lose the cards. Yeah, we got an emotional storm. And with that wind picking up and then the rain's coming down, too. Um, I feel like there is a lot. I feel like the tears are are wiping away the fog for this divine masculine yeah the confusion the breaking point their their sadness i just saw two three four their sadness is coming to the point where they have to deal with it they're realizing that they can't just keep letting it go this is something they have to address their past has a lot of influence on this divine masculine as well yeah, a lot of anger towards, I just heard their parents, a lot of anger towards their past. Also, brother is what I'm hearing. What else is going on with the collective here? What else is going on with the collective? Yeah, this emotional storm. Shit storm is what I heard. Chemistry right under lusting. There is a lot of chem chemistry and passion in this twin flame dynamic that we're reading on. And this person is wanting to return to you, but right now they're withdrawing. They're staying single is what I'm hearing. If they, if you don't know if they're in, um, if you don't know if they've left a karmic situation, I feel like they have. You just don't know about it and they're keeping it from you. We have ecstasy again. Yeah, it could be because they don't want to just come with false pretenses here. I feel like they're also setting boundaries within themselves and they're conflicted on whether or not they should tell you about this. Um, they're, they're not 100% sure if their hot and cold energy will come forth in the right... Uh, like, they want to make sure they come towards you in the right manner. They don't want to conceal things from you and this is why they're withdrawing. They're not 100% sure if they're able to be truthful with you. And it could be because they're needing to heal um, past life traumas, past traumas in this lifetime as well. What else are we, le what else are we reading on? Chasing. Um, I am kind of getting that uh, this Divine Masculine is still very much back and forth on whether or not to chase toxicity. Um, I'm hearing substances. Um, I don't know, I feel like it's slowly washing away. I'm being drawn to look at the rain. It's so light over here, and usually Florida rain is like downpour. 
But this is like Washington rain, kind of misty. And uh, yeah, I feel like little by little things are washing away. So even if this divine, if you, if you don't think this divine masculine is working on things, I think they are. It's being concealed from you though, for whatever reason. It could be because you need to nourish yourself. You need to focus on yourself. What else? What else does the Divine Feminine need to know? Anything with this Divine Feminine? Yeah, new beginnings. You need to start a new beginning um, with or without this Divine Masculine. You need to nourish your sh uh, yourself. Uh, you need to anticipate the unexpected so you can set firm boundaries in this uh, in this dynamic. But be open to second chances. Take the risk I'm hearing, but set your boundaries there could be confessions coming i just saw 555 of um certain betrayals or what you didn't know <clears throat> divine feminine just be prepared that you may be taken back what else for this divine feminine you're gonna see the depth of how far this connection can actually go and how deep this divine masculine feels from you feels for you while they've been away from you you're gonna find out that they may have been your uh, biggest fan is what i just heard like a secret admirer they could be timid at, fir at first or you could be resilient sorry you could be resistant as at first with this connection um but you're gonna find out that you both have gone through karma and you both have learned your lessons there's been a lot of pain in this connection and this what this is what makes you apprehensive um, but you both have been fantasizing about this connection and gaining peace and harmony within each other. Um, I feel like both of you, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculines, are going to confess certain things about how you guys felt rejected and unwanted. And it's, it might shock you to hear how um, hard it was to release you, Divine Feminine, in this connection with this Divine Masculine and how they felt about it. Let's pull from this deck over here. We just saw 718. What else are we reading on for this divine connection? Yeah, you both are needing to meditate more. You need to come back to center. Um, let me put this up here. I don't want to mix it up. You guys need to follow your purpose, follow your dreams. Your dreams could be giving you signs on this connection as well that you're needing to step out of your comfort zone and challenge yourself. Do something you've never done before. You could need to take a break from social media, whether that's YouTube, um, Instagram, TikTok, it doesn't matter. You may just need to like collect yourself. I'm hearing read more. Also, you could be being called to get a reading or this divine masculine or you have already gotten a reading on your, I just saw 808, on your divine counterparts. And it's making you get the confirmations that this is for sure a gift from the universe. Release expectations though. Don't do anything with the thought of you expecting something. When you give to someone, make sure you're doing it out of the kindness of your heart. Whether that's energetically giving your energy or giving a gift, don't expect anything in return. Um, yeah. We have the kindness. Stay kind-hearted. Stay in your compassionate, empathetic nature, divine feminines. Don't let this um, this shadow work. This anger is what I'm hearing. Um, question your your self worth. Don't let it question your ability to, you know, accept kind kindness and receive kindness. Release doubts. Your financial stability will start looking forward, looking up in this connection for both of you, I believe. What else are we reading on today for this collective? Yeah, you might need to take a vacation, take a break from the real world. And uh, this could be just a spa day for you guys. And just like give less fucks. Honestly, like stop caring so much about what other people think of this connection of you of how you're going to live your life and start living your life for you and God. All right. Plan your career. It's time to start taking your work more seriously and start changing your mindset on how you look at money, guys. I keep getting that. Ask your angels for help. We all have free will. If you do not ask your angels for help, then they will not help you. 
They are there to assist you. Use that. Meditate, ask for questions. Um, ask questions so they can be answered in your dreams or through a meditative state. What else? Avoid toxic people, for sure. That's something that needs to be done on both sides. Make sure you cut off toxic people. Again, you could ask your angels for help on how to do this and how to release it. They will help you and figure out a way that makes it easier for you. Home TLC. Home needs TLC. Um, what I'm getting with this is it, it's almost like that twin flame dynamic where you feel like you're being called home. I feel like there there's needing to be a little bit more TLC when it comes to this connection. The way that you guys have kindness for others and care and compassionate for others, I feel like you need to bring it to each other, um, to this connection, not holding in so much resentment and pain. You need to start bringing that tender love and care to each other. Sleep and rest. You guys may need to sleep more, rest more. Um, this could be soulmate energy for you guys. Um, I'm also hearing friendship bond. Nurture the friendship bond that you two hold and speak up. Don't hold back how you're feeling to anyone or even your divine counterpart. Um, someone could need to work on a obsessive. I just heard obsessive compulsion. Uh, compulsion. So someone could have like OCD. Um, but exercise does help with that, guys. Taking care of your body, what you internalize, what you put into your body, what drinking-wise, eating-wise, substances. Um, and, of course, exercise does release endorphins to where it helps. I just saw a blue jay, guys. So that could be significant. Um, I saw a cardinal the other day, and it just made me think of that. So maybe red or blue could be significant. July 4th, for some reason, uh, was just put it into my head. What else are we reading on? Balance. Yeah, you have to find, find balance. Like I said, come back to your center. Wow. Guys, you really, really need to start praying more. This is like the third time, 12-12 on the clock, to ask your angels come out. The universe is there to help you. Do not deny that. We're going to get some messages from um, this channel deck that I made while I was here. Let's see how... The divine counterparts are feeling towards each other if nothing was holding them back. I love the way you laugh. One, two, three, four was on the clock when I pulled this. You deserve the world. Guys, if you haven't already, hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video if you like this content or you just want to show love. I also have an Instagram and a TikTok that I'm trying to figure out how to, you know, do. But <laughs> you guys can be there. <laughs> I'll figure it out someday. Water sign. You, you or your person could be a water sign. I want to protect you from my karmic. I can't wait to do nothing with you all day and it mean everything to me. I uh, actually pulled this on another reading that I just did. I feel safe with you. I will spend forever making it up to you. And it could be because someone is being... Um, resentful towards you and you know they're they're slowly realizing that it wasn't your fault that this connection happened or that you had karma done to you it was their own doing i get lost in your eyes is on the bottom of the deck i want us to be giving given a fair chance so someone could be afraid that people around you guys are not going to give you a chance in this connection to see where it goes I want to laugh with you. I want to take you out on a date. Guys, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you like this short, brief message. I love you. Peace.